Welcome back. So we're entering day 34 here. And I think what I'm gonna do is do some exploring because I kind of like the bird catcher net thingy. And I definitely need a lot more spider webs to get that. And so I actually harvested a bunch of these trees earlier on in the game with the help of some paint. And plus there's still a bunch of wood and seeds everywhere, or pine cones everywhere. And oh, well, I didn't mean to do that sometimes. So I play with the keyboard and uh, I play with the touchpad. <laughs> And I know my boyfriend makes fun of me for this, but I don't have a mouse um, because I don't use a mouse for day-to-day -day use. But for gaming, it makes things really weird and uncomfortable. So we'll see how this goes and whether I end up getting a mouse just, just to game. Oh no, this is swamp area. Um, so I made my friends to aggro the spiders and let the pig deal with them because as I've said before, I'm battling these creatures and it's something I'm still practicing. Um, and now that I've talked about the mouse thing, I'm just going to blame it on that and say that I mean, this spider- oh, the flying spiders are so scary! Oh my god, I'm so used to fighting the the normal spiders, the black spiders. And I'm not even good at that. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm alive. I also, because I'm playing in chill mode, <laughs> chill calm mode, I turned up all the resources so that they would generate at the fastest speed ever and somehow I also turned, turned on all the resources to max um, but because I also included tumbleweeds in that it makes it kind of laggy unfortunately uh, but the tumbleweeds are fun so that's there are pros and there are cons. Um, I didn't see any anything drop from the spiders, so I think what happened was that the spiders actually won and I'm gonna go back without any any spider webs. Love that. I also find it hilarious that when you feed the pigs, they poop instantly. Can you imagine a creature in real life? pooping instantly when you feed them? That's that's just wild. But what if I what if I just give them hay? No, they don't like that. Okay. They only accept food. That's relatable. That's relatable. Uh, I'm gonna pick up some breeds even though I haven't really used any of them because again, I set the growth rate to max. Um I don't know what I'm doing here. I guess I'll <laughs> I'll smash down some houses so I can build some more pig houses closer by. I, I like having them close, and I need the resources <laughs> to build. It. I don't know why. You see, sometimes because I'm playing with the keyboard, like I just ingest things, which also sucks. Well, so I can create them closer by. Um, I actually have no idea where I am in the map anymore, which is pretty indicative of how I navigate the real world, which is, in short, not very well because I have zero directional skills. I think this is the correct way. I think the thing that really helps is that I never actually change the orientation of the map, so down is always south. I learned this the hard way 
when I actually switched the orientation and I just couldn't get it back to the original orientation and I was just consistently lost but when we were hit, which is pretty accurate for what a fertilize a bunch of bushes that haven't been fertilized yet so they can grow and create berries and a bunch of mushrooms now that I've crop pot to make a ratatouille from it. I think when I first started playing this and before I got a crock pot I developed an aversion towards uh, mushrooms because you lose something. You either you either lose sanity or life or HP when you eat them. And usually, I really like mushrooms, like in real life. But I actually have, I've just noticed that I haven't bought any. And part of me wonders if it's because of this game. We'll never know. Um. And I ended up leading all of the, like, the clockwork monsters here to the pigs um, to grab some gears, which is how I created my ice box. Uh, so these are the final bushes that I've replanted that haven't been fertilized. They're all fertilized in my garden that's a little bit further from camp. And as you can see, I have so many berries, so I think we're good in terms of berries. Yeah, so that was day 34. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, and decide what you're going to watch next.